Hello. Yeah, so these instruments here, these are all uh, used um, in the dairy industry. In the? Dairy industry. Okay. This here goes in the calf's nose to stop them from suckling from their mother so we can steal the milk from them. This cow here behind me has got the nose ring with the spikes on there that I was, when I was doing outreach, telling people about this spiked nose ring. It pricks the mother, the mother moves away and the calf can't get to the mother. How, how horrific is that? It basically stops them from exhibiting natural uh, behaviors, maternal uh, child bond. So they put this in the calf's nose Stops the baby from going to the mum. Yeah. What do you think of that? Not good? Yeah. Because we want to steal the milk for us, the calf, the baby's not allowed to have the milk. So the baby cannot drink the milk from the mother for the dairy. Yeah, they put this here so the baby cow cannot go to the mother to take the milk. They put these medieval like spikes in their noses to stop them from you know drinking from their own mother how horrible do you know what this is baby calf yeah, baby cow they stop her from drinking the milk so we can steal the milk stop them from drinking the milk from their mum yeah. uh, goes this way <laughs> yeah soy milk almond milk almond beautiful no suffering no suffering yeah. Oh, rice milk? Coconut milk. You tried coconut milk? No, but I will. You, should, you will. Good man, good man. <laughs> this is another disgusting piece of work. See this on the, on the horns here? They put some of this caustic powder. To stop the, the horns from growing. But sometimes the horns can grow inside instead of growing out. So it's, it's not very uh, effective, but they put it on the calf's horns stops their horns from growing. Sometimes the acid can leak out into their eyes and blind them. Oh my. This here, to, to tag the cows. All these cows are numbered, they're branded. They are treated as property. Their life doesn't belong to them. So there's, they're just a number. You uh, know. It's like enslavement, yeah? Uh, so these medieval, Pliers are used for clipping piglets' teeth and tails. What do you think this is for? This is for piglets' teeth. So they clip the teeth or the tails, snip it off, or testicles. They do this without anaesthetic. They clip their teeth, snip off their tails, or they can use it to cut off the testicles. They do this without anaesthetic. So no pain relief. Standard. This is standard. Something out of a torture chamber. This is basically to inject antibiotics into the animals. They use the same needle for each animal so they can pass diseases on to the animals like this. So they use the same needle on all the, so they can spread disease like that. The reason this glove is so big is because the vet will stick his whole fist into the cow's anus. They hold them down in a rack so they cannot move because they don't want this to happen to them to hold the cervix. And then after harvesting the semen from a male uh, bull, and we know how they harvest semen from bulls, they sexually violate the animal. Uh, this is violating the animal. It, this is violation because there is no consent. Uh, stick a tube of semen into the cow. This is how they forcibly impregnate the cows. What do you think about that? Do you know what this is for? Of the cow, <laughs> yeah. This here. Forcible impregnation. This hand goes in uh, her backside. So they hold the cervix. Yeah, it's like what do you say? It's, it's like rape. Rape. Yeah. Yeah, well it is. It's, yeah. There's no difference. Animals cannot tell you they want you to do this to them. If anything, they don't want you to do this to them. I've got no words to explain that. This is a meat hook. What they hang flesh on. It's a meat hook. Hang, hang pieces of bodies on. If we were using these instruments on human beings, something out of a horror movie. You're doing some outreach today. Can you explain your story to me? Uh, well, I know these implements pretty well because when I was 12, I worked in a dairy farm yeah. for a few days. I saw people use this 
um, for real, wow. yeah. The thing that made me go vegan, I saw a cow with two broken legs uh, that a truck came to her to take her to the, to the meat industry yeah. to, to slaughter yeah. and they just electrocuted her with this. And this here is a electrical prod, yeah, so they put the animals, the animals don't want to go to, to death. They force them down the kill line. And she was screaming and what I did, I just jumped to the truck and I hugged her because she was screaming like hell. And they just told me that they could, they, that they can't um, uh, treat her because she was, um, it's too much money. Yeah, now you're out here doing outreach and teaching yeah. people about it. Yeah, because I saw that she's a being that have feelings, that yeah. is feeling pain and, yeah. and is really, really scared. Yeah. And um, is worth me speaking out to her. Wow. Her, oh, thank you so much. But anyway, this is what they do to animals so we can use their bodies, okay. use them for pro as products. Do you think it's okay or? <laughs> um, do you think it's okay? All these instruments are so we can have some meat, cheese, milk. Humans are predators. Humans are dangerous? Predators. Predators. That's a, that's a good thing? No. No. They prey on the innocent. Yeah. It's kind of part of life. Mm. We advocate for a lifestyle plant-based, vegan, uh, we don't harm any animals in the process. We don't subject animals to any of this torture. And yeah, we just think it's unnecessary and they're innocent, innocent beings. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we are becoming vegetarian. It's new for us. Vegetarian? Yeah, we're starting to be vegetarian we, because we're against the... The dairy, dairy industry? No, well, it's not against the dairy industry. It's against the way they treat animals. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so the, if these if are all... If it's done, like... Humanely? Yeah. Well, well it's not It's true. okay? But Do you think no. it's okay? What if the farmer looked after the animal a little bit better? Would that make it okay? What do you think? Every cheese is do does... Uh, so, this oh, every, every dairy cow, organic, free range, the yeah, backyard, they're all, they're all forcibly impregnated. They all have their children taken from them, all of them, across the board. Uh, they're all killed at the end of their when they're of no use to the farmer or they're ready for meat. The conditions in here look pretty horrific, but do you think there's a humane way to do this? It, it, it's a funny joke. You yeah, know, it's a joke, to isn't it? Funny, ra uh, you know, human rape, yeah. human slut, there is no thing like this. All animals, happy animals are all killed. Do you think there's a humane way to kill someone who doesn't want to die? That's what I would ask you. So cheese forbidden. We are just educating people to make different choices. We have a... Uh, Vegan cheese made of uh, nuts and these animals have done nothing wrong to anyone and we prey on them as if they've done something wrong. We treat them as if they are criminals and all they were, they were just born as another species, as a cow or a pig. It's a little nipple but they put this on a bottle and they feed the calf a formula instead of the calf naturally being able to uh, go to the mother's uh, udder. Anytime you're drinking milk you're taking that from a, a baby. Another thing I thought to myself is, I'm a full-grown adult. Why am I still breastfeeding? As a child, one, two years old, maybe three, sometimes four years old, we wean off of our mother's breast milk. I don't care. You know. We're all lactose intolerant. The cheese and ch uh, chocolate yogurt. I don't yogurt either. No, we don't even do that. Yeah. Cheese. Why are we full-grown adults and still breastfeeding? And, 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 and now that I've woken up to that. It's amazing. I'm like, what, what was I doing? All the supermarkets have vegan cheese, so none of this torture in the cheese or the milk. You can get about 10 different plant-based milks and choose one that you like. All of these devices, something out of a medieval torture chamber. And we use them on innocent beings too. This is a challenge 22. You can do a vegan challenge. Okay. And they will direct you where all the good stuff is here, all the restaurants are, and you can try it online, it's free. You do it on Facebook and do a little vegan challenge.